let's been doing some more um, house renovations and stuff and I've done this you can just see I've got the last pile of earth there I took about two cubic meters away from it I dropped it down maybe 14 or 15 inches so it's it's level on here this is not finished yet uh, but it will look something like this look I still need to take some earth away from me you can see it's banked up high at the back end there and I will level that out and that's how this one was it was banked banked up and it was just to get rid of the soil that I took out of here to make these steps but you can see these steps are in there were two trees here before anyway so we've moved all this earth and then coming round onto the front I'm not sure if I filmed this already but I did a rockery here look just here uh, you can see there's a few stones and planks and stuff here because I'm doing some other work right behind me which I'll show you in a minute but I wanted to level all that out and get a few stones in there I've done the same here uh, and I've leveled that out leveled this out there's a bit of a rockery there and I took those coping stones out that was there and put stones in so it's more in keeping with what's already there and then I've done this path here look uh, I'm just in the process of filling it in there's my mix I'm going to fill all this in and where I've got big gaps I put these stones in like I did around the pond there 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 and so on this is a different type of stone I went up into the countryside and got some stone it's not exactly flat but it'll be good enough to walk on when I've cemented it in between and uh, you can see I laid a line out there there it is look let me come down I laid a line out there so if you stand here you can see that it's pretty straight down there okay so what we're doing now we're just filling in I've mixed a, a, a tub full of cement now and it's a four and one mix so four sand or four aggregate to one cement okay and what I'm doing is I'm just filling in just getting blobs like so trying not to get it all over the brickwork just filling up the, the gaps like so and then evening it evening it out like so it's a little bit wet this mixture is really i just made it a little bit too wet uh, i'm just trying to blend it in that's where i left off and it's gone a little bit hard now but you can see where i'm filling in there, now I've got a nice smooth run through and little steps like this look you can fill them in that's not a problem you can fill them in like that and I've just tried where I've got big gaps I've put stones in like this just to give it a little bit of decoration and we'll come back to you when it's finished okay I've got about a square meter to go uh, and it's done okay guys there it is finished dead straight lot dead straight line down there and pointed all, all pointed up this bit pointed up too got some more that's put there I just need to fill them holes in at the bottom but I'm out of cement at the moment another beautiful day this is drying out nicely now be able to walk on that in a day or two can you see those slabs down there those slabs come from there so I've decided what we're going to do is uh, match this up the same this side look so we're going to do that this side uh, I've just raked the soil took the slabs up got it all nice and level and I'm just starting to remove this earth now I will remove these stones this line of stones there um, and I'll dig the earth back and I might put in I might drop those those down a little bit when I've took the earth away and put another another layer on the top okay you can see I'm starting to move this earth there's about maybe 10 inches higher than, than this level here so I need to remove 10 inches I'm taking about 10 buckets at a time one two three four five six seven eight nine nine buckets at a time but it won't take long got it loaded up nine buckets at a time and the tips are just a few hundred meters away so it literally took me 
a minute and a half to get here and um, people throw all the grass cuttings here so I don't see any harm in throwing all this soil here so down there it's going to go and back again for the next so this is where I get my stone it don't cost me a penny all I've got to do is pick it up sort out the pieces if I can't find them I dress them up uh, down to the thickness I want and uh, and that's fine I've got half a truck load now or half a boot full or trunk full as you say in America and uh, I'll be going in a bit so I'm back from the stone place and I've been taking the stones out and I'm just laying them to give me an idea what I need and what positions I like to place the big ones on the outside because they're the one that's going to get trod on there's no support on the side you see so I like to put the big ones because their own weight should hold them there then uh, I've got a cement underneath or concrete underneath so this should be set really firm I've just got that gap to fill in there which I'll fill in right now I've got more than enough stones so I'll either take the others back or just pop them in the garden somewhere so Alice and Alice is there and Jessica's here just been cleaning up the stones and putting the finishing touches and we'll probably grass that I've just got to do that I've got the stones and uh, I'll do that tomorrow. It's holiday here, so I hope I don't run out of stuff. I've got three, four bags of sand and um, a bag of cement there, so it should be enough to do that. All done. So I got it all in. It's pretty flat, but uh, as flat as you can get it anyway. I mean, there's umps and hollers in the stone, but you can walk on it. There's no problem. You won't trip over it. There's nowhere to go anyway. Um, and so there you go it's all gone all lined up now, I've got a little bit of cement over and I want to get that done there down the bottom there look so just added the finishing touches Alice has put some nice coloured plants in there and um, we're probably going to grass this here this, this part here and you can see we've got that there Alice is going to it's an old wood oven and I'm going to fill that up with soil and, and flowers out the front and a couple of flowers at the top and uh, essentially it's done I've just moved that barrel there on that side and that there and that little wheel there I found somewhere and painted it up that's a rose bush may leave that there but we're going to grass this too so essentially it's done now so there you go so we'll go down one end and I'll pan up so as you know I've done that when was it last summer so there we go all done there other end I don't know if I can zoom in there all the plants are in and it's looking quite nice now so really the front's done 